Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to study about fractions. Already in previous grades, we have learnt about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of fractions. Under this lesson, we are going to see how to simplify fractions with OFF. So this is very simple. All what you have to remember is if there is OFF in an expression, it must be replaced by multiplication and simplified as a multiplication. Now let us see how to do this through an example. Half of 2 over 3. So here the first step is instead of of you have to put the multiplication sign. So it becomes like this and then you can see the 2's can be cancelled. So here I cancel this 2 with this 2 and then simply we have to multi uh, multiply. Then you get the answer as 1 over 3. So it's very simple. All what you have to do is instead of of you have to put a multiplication sign. Let's look into another example. 2 third of 2, 2 over 5. Now in this case, first step you have to replace off with multiplication sign and while replacing off the mixed number must be converted into a, an improper fraction. So you know 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. That is how the um, 12 has come here as the denominator in the second fraction. So then you have to see whether you can chop the uh, numbers by any means. So here it's very easy. Simply you can see this 12 and this 3 can be chopped so that the there are 4 3's in 12. So now when you multiply you get 8 over 5 because 2 into 4 is 8 and then 8 over 5 is an improper fraction. We can't leave the final answer as an improper fraction. So we have to convert it into a mixed number once again. So in 8 you have 1, 5 and 3 remains. So we write the mixed number as 1, 3 over 5 and this is the final answer. Similarly you can get uh, expressions with off in this way too. Now see this 3 over 5 of 100 meters. So in this case also we do the same thing. We replace off by multiplication and then here you can understand that 5 and 100 can be cancelled. You know that in, five, in 100 you have 25. So then 3 into 20 is 60 meters and that is the final answer. So this is how you compute or you simplify fractions with the expression of. And then we'll move on to the next section of this lesson that is simplifying expressions with few operations. Now suppose you have addition, multiplication, division, subtraction and so many things in one uh, expression. Then how to simplify the expressions that is what we are going to see in this part. So for this we follow a special rule called Bodmus. Here I'll give you the rule B is for brackets, O is for off d for division, m for multiplication, a for addition and s for subtraction. So we go in this order when we simplify expressions with more than one type of operations. So if you follow this your answer will be accurate otherwise if you do it in another different order your answer will be wrong. So remember this rule the rule of Bodmas when you simplify expressions with few operations. So let's look into some example under this case too. The first example is this. Now here you have off, you have brackets and you have addition. So you know first of all the brackets must be simplified according to the rule of Bodmas. So therefore first of all I'm going to simplify the brackets. Inside the brackets we have an addition. So the addition part must be done first. In order to add you know the denominators must be equated. So I multiply the two fractions like this by 2 and 3 respectively and get the denominator as 12. So when the denominator is same we can simply add. 
So 2 plus 3 is 5 and you get the answer like this. Now at this stage you can see that we can cut certain values like 10 and 5 can be cancelled and you get 2 there. Similarly 4 and 12 can be cancelled because there are 3 4s in 12. So I can put 3 there and then you multiply you get the answer as 1 over 6 because there are 4 and 5 cancelled nothing remaining there so it's 1 we have to consider as 1 and then 2 into 3 is 6. Moving on to another example here 5 over 12 is divided by an expression within brackets. So once again the brackets must be solved first so here the denominators in the fraction within brackets is 2 and 3 I have to equate the denominators in order to equate the denominators I multiply like that and then the denominator becomes 6 so after that I can subtract simply 3 minus 2 is 1 so here I write the expression as 1 over 6 and then you know when it comes to division we convert it into a multiplication by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now in this case once again we can chop 12 and 6 you know there are 2 6 in 12 so then you get the answer as 5 over 2 but this is an improper fraction so here we have to convert it into a proper fraction as 2 and a half. So this is how you simplify fractions with more than one operation. You have to follow the Bodmas rule and we'll move on to one more example that is a statement Sam spends one fourth of his income for food half of it for his business and saves the remaining amount if the income is 60,000 rupees find the amount he spend on food the amount he invests and the amount he saves so this is a very simple sum let's write down few statements and find out the answers First, the amount spent on food is one fourth of 60,000. So, in this case, as it is one fourth of 60,000 rupees, of must be replaced by multiplication. And then you know this can be simplified, and your answer will be 15,000 rupees. 60,000 divided by 4 is 15,000 rupees. That is the amount he spent on food. And then the amount spent, uh, sorry, the amount invested on the business is half of 60,000. So they are once again half into 60,000 rupees. Then you get the answer as 30,000 rupees. And then the amount he invested is the remaining amount. So from 60,000, if you subtract the amount spent on food and business, you get the remaining as another 50,000 rupees. So this is how you simplify questions with statements. So hope you understood the lesson and see you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.